Well, good evening, Cornerstone family. Uh, Pastor Mike here, uh, kicking off this week's devotions on transformative love. Uh, we just had a wonderful Sunday, actually Saturday, this last Saturday evening with uh, Pastor Milton, uh, preaching from Titus, reminding us of the love and kindness of God our Savior uh, that has appeared. Uh, this week, we want to focus on, on what is it that we love. Um, our love will define us, whether we're loving the world or loving God Himself. And tonight, I'm going to be focusing on 1 John uh, chapter 3, particularly verse 1. But I want to kick it off by kind of a, a, a picture I've had in my mind. I, I picture myself, I'm hanging over this cliff, and, and someone is holding me. And uh, I'm looking up into the eyes of this person, and I notice it's my Heavenly Father. And if I really know that that is my Heavenly Father who is almighty, then though there may be many dangers and, and things lurking below that no doubt will kill me if, if the Father lets go, I can have great confidence knowing that my Father will not let me go. When we look at the book of 1 John, there are definitely things to fear. And there are people, according to the Apostle John, that will not survive. Um, there's the fear of antichrists. There's the fear of deception. There's the fear of sin. There's the world. And, and part of the world is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, what we look at, which leads to the pride of life. And it just begs the question for me, what makes me think that I'm going to survive? I don't know about you, but... The times that we're living in, uh, there are many dangers and there are days when I wake up feeling very confident in, in my Heavenly Father and there are other days where I'm asking myself, how am I going to survive? And I believe that the Apostle John gives us an answer to that question through the Holy Spirit that we're going to survive because we are held fast in the love of an Almighty God. And it's particularly as we behold uh, the love of our Father, uh, that our confidence and hope will grow. In fact, I want to suggest tonight that beholding the love of our Father is part of what it means to abide. Beholding is abiding, and to the extent that children uh, behold their Father, they will gain confidence in their Father. And so I want to make really what amounts to just three short points from verse 1. Let me read the verse first. Uh, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us that we should be called the children of God, and such we are. Therefore, the world does not know us because it did not know Him. How are we going to survive? Uh, we're going to survive because, first of all, of the Father's love. It's a fatherly love that we're looking at. Notice the text says, Behold, or look at, stare at, what manner of love the Father has. The idea here is, is what in the world, what kind of love does our Father have that He would do the kind of things that He has done for us? This is a Father's love, and I think we can learn something about a fa our Heavenly Father's love by considering just the love that we have for our own children. If you're a father or if you have a, uh, you think of the, the love that your father has for you, we can generically learn about that. But we're talking about the love of a heavenly father for his own children. And as we gaze up into the eyes of our father who has promised to hold us fast, and we are in the grip of our father, John chapter 10, and we are therefore unpluckable, even if the devil tries to pluck us out of his hands and his son's hands. We cannot be plucked. That gives us great confidence and hope. And so this is a fatherly love, but it's also a gracious love. Notice it says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has given to us. This is a love that has been given to us. Pastor Carlos is going to talk on Friday how that we're not talking about, first of all, the love that we have for God, but the love that he has for us. That's what comes first. It's a love that He has poured out on us. It's a love that He has poured out into us through the Holy Spirit. And He's demonstrated His love in giving us His own Son, the Lord 
Jesus Christ. And that gives us confidence that we can survive the dangers of this world. And so it's a fatherly love, a heavenly fatherly love. It's a, it's a gracious love, not anything that we've deserved or that emanates from us. But lastly, it's a peculiar love. What I mean by that, it's a distinguishing love. Listen to the rest of the verse. Behold what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God, and such we are. And so much are we children of God that the Apostle John goes on to say, Therefore the world does not know us because it did not know Him. This love is so peculiar um, that it, it draws us in to be called children, and the world looks at us and, and just doesn't get that. The world does not get us. The fact that we have the Holy Spirit, in fact, if you look at the previous context, we have an anointing that reminds us that we are children and, and that we are taught of God. And the Holy Spirit reminds us of this relationship that we have with God. And the world looks at us and just doesn't get it. Why don't they get it? Because they don't know our Father. We know the Father. I don't know if you remember this last uh, Saturday Pastor Milton asked the question, how is it that we know that we've been regenerated? How do you know that you're a child of God? And he asked basically three questions. First of all, have you believed in the Lord Jesus Christ? And do you find yourself loving Jesus Christ? When I ask myself that question, I do believe in Jesus and I do love Jesus. And do I find in myself a desire to obey his word? And do I find myself wanting to repent of sins when I fall down? And I fall down many times, but I have to tell you honestly that I do desire to obey God's word, and I do find myself wanting to repent when I fall down. And I would ask you to ask yourself those questions. Do you find yourself believing in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior? Do you find yourself loving Jesus? And do you find yourself wanting to obey Him and sorrowing when you disobey and wanting to repent of sins? If those things are true, as Pastor Milton said on Saturday, then you can have great hope and confidence that you are a child of God, but the Lord is working those things in you. You, uh, you are knowing a fatherly love, a gracious love, and it's a peculiar love that the world's not going to understand, but you know what it is. And so let me just encourage all of us, myself included, that we do live in dangerous times. It's always been dangerous. If we, if we look at the world the way God sees it, there is real sin. There's a real devil. There's a real world. There are antichrists. And yet, we, if it all depended on, upon you and me, then we would fall and we would, and we would die. But as we look up into the eyes of our Father, we have a Father who is holding on to us, and He loves us, He's gracious, and He has a peculiar love for His children, and He is going to bring us to the end. So keep beholding Him. Beholding is abiding. Abiding is beholding. God bless you guys. I hope this is an encouragement to you as it's been to me. If you have any prayer requests, uh, we encourage you to keep um, uh, emailing us at prayer at cornerstonebible.org. We love praying for you. We prayed for you guys yesterday. We keep updated uh, on those prayers and the, and the answer to prayer requests. Uh, but God bless you guys. Uh, hope you enjoy your evening in the Father's love.